Here goes all our stuff. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and uh, we're about to PCS, so yeah. <laughs> we're getting down to, I think, about five days out from the movers coming. So we are starting our cleaning, um, like our move out cleaning stuff uh, now because I don't know how we're gonna be able to do it with a toddler this time because it's our first time moving and having like the move out inspection and trying to clean for the move out inspection with a little crazy toddler running around. So that's gonna be fun, but we're starting to clean now. So we got started on Bronson's room last night, I think, and kind of got everything like a little organized. We took everything down off the walls. Um, it looks a little messy in here again because he just came in and like tore everything apart. <laughs> But all the walls are bare. It looks like a tornado came through here. Um, but that's basically what we're doing right now is just going like room by room, taking everything off the walls, cleaning the baseboards, vacuuming, um, wiping off like the window sills. We have to clean the ceiling fans still. Um, oh, and touch up paint. I have to do touch up paint in this bedroom still, so. Um, we're pretty much almost finished with the guest room now. It's less of a disaster in here, but everything is off the walls and it's just ready to um, just ready to be packed up. <laughs> um, we've been doing just like a little bit every day just to lessen the amount of stuff we're gonna have to do. Um, like after the movers come uh the tricky thing about that is they're gonna come and take all of our stuff on monday i don't know what the date is so on monday the 6th is when the movers come and we are going to be here for two more nights and we'll leave on the 8th after our move out inspection so um on the 6th when the movers come they're going to be taking like all of our cleaning stuff like vacuum and everything like that so we kind of just need to figure out what to do as far as that i think we're gonna leave like a throwaway like broom and mop here um just because then we'll be able to like clean the floors like the entire floors will be empty of furniture and everything we'll be able to actually clean everything once the movers leave, but they'll have all of our cleaning stuff, so it's gonna be a little difficult. Um, but yeah, I think I'll do like a throwaway broom and mop or something like that that we can just toss or give away um, after we're done using it. But yeah, we still have a lot to do. So yeah, really exciting. Um, we also just got offered a house on Fort Lee yesterday morning and we are moving into a one-story house that is a three bedroom and um fort lee is kind of weird it's a lot different from every base i lived on obviously because it's not a marine base it's an army base but or post or i know army people say it different i don't know um <laughs> but it's a lot different from any other base we've been on because there's normally lots of pictures of all the different types of housing. There's like a group here for like Camp Pendleton that you can uh, like find on Facebook and it's just a group specifically for pictures of different neighborhoods. So when you're moving here, it's really, it like comes in handy. Um, but like Fort Lee, like they just send you some general pictures of like a random house um, when you accept a house. And you have to get on Facebook groups and just like ask other people like, hi, what does your house look like? Can someone tell me what this house looks like at this address? And it's kind of weird, <laughs> but um, I have an idea of what it looks like inside. But I don't know for sure. So I don't know. I'm not really excited yet because I don't know what it looks like. Um, like once I see the house, then I'll be like excited and like, oh, like it feels like we have a home, but it just, it's like mysterious still. So I don't really feel like we have a home yet. I haven't seen it so it's a little weird but 
yeah i just thought i would jump on here and uh let you guys know what's going on <laughs> Was all our stuff. Oh my god. Having in and out for a while. You're like half in the frame, half out. Yeah, it's alright. So, whoops. Today's our last full day in California. We're eating in and out. Okay, we're eating in and out. I can not talk. The movers came yesterday. They got the house packed up in one day. So our house is completely empty. And we're sleeping on an air mattress for the last two nights. And tonight. Ah! What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? Anyway, we're sleeping on an air mattress for one more night tonight. It's so uncomfortable. I hate it. <clears throat> I sleep like a baby. It's horrible. He's so heavy that on his side, the mattress sinks down to here, and I'm like two feet higher in the air. And it's like a hump in the middle, which is where I sleep. So I'm constantly like tipping back and forth on this like speed bump bed. <clears throat> and it's terrible. But um, I didn't film any of the moving stuff or like the movers because I feel like it'd be awkward. There was only like a couple guys and I didn't want to like walk out and pull out my camera and film them. <laughs> so we got everything done and packed. They started at like eight in the morning-ish yesterday and they finished um, when like almost four. Three. Three, so less like it was everything like was hours. done we don't have that much stuff so <clears throat> they were able to do it in one of like just one day instead of two like we had thought so now we are just working on cleaning the house we had to borrow someone's vacuum and someone's mop because they took all of our cleaning stuff so that's fun but as we were like getting the rooms ready to be packed up. We were kind of cleaning. We were kind of cleaning already, so we don't have that much to do. Um, <clears throat> but we just are like running errands today. We had a bunch of stuff like clothes that we're donating that we just dropped off to Goodwill. And apparently Goodwill doesn't take like baby items. Like I have a walker. High chair. A high bouncer. chair. A sit me up. A bouncer. 
and they wouldn't take any of it. So we're driving around and dropping the stuff off to girls who need them that I found on Facebook. So um, yeah. that's what we're doing. We went to the post office and put a hold on our mail because we're gonna not have an address for a couple weeks. What, are you done? Here, honey. Yes, <laughs> hi. Um, what was I saying? Address. Oh, we're tweets. not gonna have an address for a couple weeks because someone is living in the house that we're moving into still. So we can't do a change of address because then they'll get our mail. So we put like a stop on our mail starting like when today? Uh, yeah. I did so we today. put a stop on our mail starting today. <clears throat> we leave tomorrow. We have our move out inspection tomorrow morning sometime. Um, what else? Also the movers aren't able to take like liquids. So we are left with so much stuff, so much like stuff that costs a lot of money. Like they wouldn't take laundry soap. They wouldn't take um, cleaning products. They wouldn't take shampoo, conditioner, um, cooking oil, soy sauce, hot sauce, like so much stuff that they just like wouldn't take because in case it spills or something, which I don't know. So we have to try, um, we're getting rid of most of it, but we have to try to fit like two containers of the stuff in the car, which is already going to be completely full. But, um, the rest of it, we have to either throw away or give away. And some of it is brand new. So we're like just wasted money on all this stuff, but it's like a lot of stuff. Yeah. We're just going to go home and finish cleaning and then tomorrow we'll be on our way. Take all the trash out. Oh yeah, we have to, oh. we're not, we're not allowed to use our <coughs> trash cans anymore. So we have probably <coughs> 14 bags. I counted. Oh my God. So we have 14 bags of trash, some of which I think are recycle. Yeah. Some of them are recycled, so it's not, but it's just trash that's like accumulated from like the last week and also from cleaning everything. Um, so we have to go home and gather up all this trash, load it into the car, which is going to be gross. And then we have to take it to a dumpster that we're allowed to use. That's only open for like a little over an hour every day. So yeah, that sucks. Um, I just wanted to show you how empty our house is. Everything is all gone. We have no gate at the stairs. This room is totally empty. This was the guest room. Completely empty. And this is our setup for the past three nights, but tonight's our last night, which I think I already said. But literally, we have all of our stuff in the closet, some stuff down here. Um, but yeah, sleeping on an air mattress. Tons of fun. So it is the next morning. I just came upstairs and I'm out of breath. Um, it's the next morning. We are done with everything. We have everything cleaned. Um, we're just waiting for our move out inspection, which is in about an hour. So, yeah, we're just um, loading up the car now and we're gonna get on the road. We still have to take the air mattress down because someone's still sleeping. Raja! Raja! Hi! <laughs> Are you guys ready to go? Are you ready to go? You ready? Bean? Are you ready? So, we just got the car loaded up. We got the dog's um, seat protector in. We have everything. We still need to bring the dog bag, which I have to tell you guys about because it's really cool. Um, but we still need to bring that. Um, we have some pillows we need to put in the car. Um, husband is upstairs getting the air mattress to put right here. But we literally got everything to fit in the car. Baby stuff is down here behind the car seat. Stroller. 
um, that I talked about that we took to Disneyland. <laughs> this is the other main reason that we bought it because it literally just fits right there. It's diaper bag, it's blankets up there, but yeah, we're all ready to go. Are you, <laughs> are you upset? Oh my God. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, baby. Good morning. Handsome man, oh. You're so cute. I was gonna go right. Boring. It's delicious. Boring. We just stopped to get into this little restaurant. Oh my god. Okay, 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 go. Oh my god, babe. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, I love EG's. They have really good sandwiches. We almost done already and I only ate half of a smaller sandwich. Um, well, we're in Tucson now. I think the last time that I vlogged, we were still on our way to Tucson, but we're here. Um, I didn't vlog anything because we were with family and literally we had something going on at all times. Like every day, all day long, there was something going on. So I didn't feel I don't know, I just, I didn't have time to like pull out my camera because we were so busy I wasn't even thinking about it because we were just trying to fit as much as we could in this little like stop here Dad. as we could. Dad. I don't even know if I mentioned Dad. it in the vlog at all, Dad. but my family lives here and I'm from Dad. here so that's why we stopped here and made it like a Dad. trip. Okay, so my camera died and we, I have mascara on my eye. Cool. Um, but my camera died and um, I had to charge it so it's my battery is charged now so yeah we are still in Arizona um, I think we're like a literally a few minutes away from New Mexico and I'm like trying to record all the state signs so I thought I would try to jump on here and finish what I was saying but I don't know if I even explained why we were in Tucson or what we were doing or anything, um, but uh, like I was saying, I'm from Tucson. I grew up there. Um, my family is there. We went to visit my mom. I tried to see my dad, but that didn't work out. I couldn't. I wasn't able to. I was just able to see my mom. We had a birthday party for Bronson um, with some family, and we hung out with my mom. She gave the boys haircuts. <laughs> Um, she does hair, so she cut Bronson's hair and she cut my husband's hair, so they're uh, looking really nice. <laughs> but I just wanted to um, mention that because I don't think I ever did. But yeah, that's why we were in Tucson. And like I said, like I didn't really feel like putting my camera in people's faces and be like and like film them. So I just wanted to put the camera down for a few days and not really worry about it and just worry about spending time with my mom and stuff so that's what we did and why we didn't really film so um now I'll probably be filming more um so what's going on now is we are making our way to um I believe Van Horn Texas um we're just trying to divide our driving up equally between all the days and not drive um a lot we're getting a hotel pretty much every night uh, because it's a really long drive I think it's like literally from one coast to the other um, so it's a really long drive I think when we looked it up it was like 30 some hours of a drive like 3,000 miles and it's just really far so we're dividing it up over time um, we were while we were in Tucson, my husband was on leave, I think. So those days didn't count as any of our like travel days. Um, if you're not like familiar with the process of PCSing with the military, but um, yeah, basically we were given like eight days of travel time to make it from San Diego to Virginia. Um, we just stopped to get gas. We're almost to New Mexico. I'm gonna try to film all of the state signs because I just, I don't know why, I just want to. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. He just went in to get some water. We're um, 
it's only about 139 so we got like a little bit of a late start so we probably won't get to where we're going today for a while because i think today and tomorrow are like the longest driving days that we're doing um today we're driving about six hours which is about the same uh, amount of time that it took for us to get from san diego to tucson or oceanside to tucson um and then today we're driving about six hours from tucson to van horn texas and then tomorrow morning when we leave this ho um this place when we leave van horn we're driving about another six hours a little bit less um from van horn to waco texas because we were making a stop in waco for very good reason um so that'll probably be in the next vlog i don't really know there's like this guy who's just like staring at me from myself i hate when people stare at me when i'm like just recording myself like get over it leave me alone after this vlog um the whole video is probably just gonna be me talking the entire time because i we haven't done anything like crazy fun um, that I like filmed just like the moving process which is really what this video is about so yeah um, my next video that I do will probably be more fun because we're gonna make Mom! a really what baby what um, because we're making a really cool pit stop in Waco so yeah I'll probably film a little more later on tonight when we actually get to the hotel instead of just clips of us driving the whole time. <laughs> hey babe. Water and Rice Krispie treats. hotel finally um it's really late it is 11 46 here in texas we are in where are we fort stockton um <laughs> we're here so late like we weren't planning on driving this late at all um what happened was we stopped in a smaller town um like an hour and a half away from here uh called van horn texas and we ended up booking a room at a hotel that was not good <laughs> um it was i don't even know how to explain it it was just not very clean the room smelled really badly like dog pee um we have dogs so we have to have pet friendly rooms so i guess like that room that we were given was a pet friendly room but it smelled so strong of pee I couldn't do it it was just um yeah it wasn't clean and I don't want to sleep somewhere that doesn't feel clean to me there was like hair on the pillows and I was like eh. so we literally sat there like okay what do we do do we just keep driving it was a nightmare it was a nightmare it was hell so we left we got out of there my son was like playing on the floor and he has been sitting in the car all day long so he wanted to like you know roll around and play on the floor like toddlers do and it was like oh my god Bronson like no this is really gross so I just we were like okay let's keep driving and let's get to a bigger city with a bigger like chain hotel that's probably gonna be nicer so we just got here that's what's going on um I figured I'll show you guys the room and um, I'll probably end this vlog here because I feel like I'm just like recording and recording and recording and recording and it's just gonna turn into like a tremendously long video so I'll probably end this vlog here after I show you guys the room because it's actually really nice and it's not too too expensive so it's it's really cute and um, I'm way happier here um, so yeah so this is when you first walk in it's late, so I don't want to be too loud, but here's the bathroom. 
I'm recording on my phone because I don't know where my camera is. It's somewhere in the car. It is really nice. The ceilings are like so high. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like way up there. Um, yeah, it's so pretty. I love these floors. So that's when you first walk in the door. They have a huge mirror right here. That's a little closet with a safe. It's a good selfie mirror. Um, this is the room. We got two beds. Bronson's got a pillow on the floor already. There is a little kitchenette in here, which is really nice. A full-size fridge, which is really cool. Um, we got two beds. It's pretty nice. I like it. I'm way happier here. The other hotel was like pretty scary and we also have like a humongous TV, which is awesome. So yeah, but that is our room. So I don't even know what's going to be in this video, to be honest. I don't know what I've even filmed really this last week or so because so much has been going on. So yeah, um, we'll see what ends up going in the video. I don't know, but um, hopefully you like this video. And if you are interested in seeing the rest of our trip, which this video is probably going to be kind of boring, to be honest. I don't really know. I have to look back at the footage and see what's really in it. I can't, I can't remember what I filmed, honestly, but um, my next few vlogs are probably going to be a little more exciting. I'm going to do an empty house tour of our house on base that we have um, already got. I don't know what it looks like, so it'll be our first time seeing the inside. Um, and we are making a stop in Waco. Should get there tomorrow. And then we'll spend like some of the next day there. We, I don't know if we're spending two nights. I'm not really sure what's going on or what the plan is for that, but my next few but my next few videos will be a lot better than this one, I'm sure, but I just wanted to film it anyway because like this is like real like PCS life. This is just like hectic and so much going on and yeah. So if you are interested in seeing the rest of our trip and seeing our new house, etc., um please like this video. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if it's horrible. <laughs> Um, let me know what you think. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Um, and subscribe to my channel so that you can see me and my family on this little journey to Virginia. Isn't that right, baby? Hey. Can you say hi? Oh my gosh. Do you love your fries? Are they delish? Oh my goodness. Say bye. The good news is that you never be quiet. Good job.